What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So we're out here in the shop. Um, I guess it's about time we address this joystick issue that we got up here. Uh, I think I finally got some parts in. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure that they're correct yet, but anyway, I'm trying to order stuff. I think I got something that'll work, so we're going to give it a shot. Um, what I got is the plungers up here, they're leaking. I got those in, and then the swivel right here is bad. Now, they make a couple different swivels for this, I believe, um, because this joystick was used on dozers and excavators and uh on like two year models of these dozers the later year models of these dozers it had this uh little heim joint deal here that goes to this locking device here and this is so that the uh the joystick can be locked in a position forward or reverse or whatever you set this and it's supposed to hold it anyway uh, from what i read on the internet it never really worked that great but uh the swivel that I got is a little different than that. So I don't know if this is actually for an excavator or earlier model dozer that really didn't have that. So I don't know if we're going to be able to make this work and still still utilize this uh, locking mechanism they have here or, um, or just exactly how this is going to work because that's not a threaded hole right there for that that stud so I don't know we may can uh, tack weld it make it work or it just may not have the locking feature like it does now I'm not sure what we're gonna have to do with that but we'll see when we get there um, anyway it's a little bit different school setup uh, here's the plunger things I don't know how any of this stuff goes in hopefully it's not too hard to figure out but anyway there's four of those and um, that's about three hundred dollars worth of parts right there so uh, you don't get much for a lot on this, but uh, I guess we're going to uh, pull this handle off of here and uh, get the handle out of the way and then we'll pull the rest of this off here and see what we can get ourselves into. Let's unplug the wire here and see what happens. Well, that explains why they cut that before. <laughs> okay. Well, that's a silly design. I was wondering why that wire was cut. I think I see now. Hmm. Okay. I'm guessing that maybe you're supposed to drive that roll pin out to remove the handle. Instead of cutting the wire like they did. I don't think I got no roll pin punches. Let's see if we can get the handle to come off here. So we can get the rest of it unscrewed. Well, that works too. Finish breaking the swivel off. We should work for now. All right, so we got to get whatever holds this on off. And it looks like it threads in there. I think. Trying to look, see on the end of it, it's got a. Got any way to thread it in there? It appears it's just a wrench right here. Well, it does not want to come off there.
kind of figured that. So we'll try the air hammer. You take it off or break it off. One of the two. Already doing pretty good at breaking it off. So. Came loose then. It's all rounded off and everything. It's coming loose though. There we go, it's unthreaded. Now, should be able to get this loose. I guess it tightened itself back up. So this looks a lot different than uh, than the other one there. I'm gonna get this piece not loose. This is what's holding the plunger down. some shims which shows you're going to be different because the uh, whole thing is different and this is a retainer plate and then we have our individual plungers there over there a little safer spot
way too big. Okay, so that just comes up with just a little bit of prizing, it appears. And there's the plunger and stuff in the middle. I don't know what all comes with the new kit. There's a spring, and that's just an empty plunger. I'm going to have to open up a new plunger, I guess, to see what comes with it. I think that whole piece comes with it because I sent a little clip down in there. Okay, there's a spool valve looking thing, a couple springs, I've seen that clip on this valve so I don't know, there's a clip right there that I've seen that come with the, uh, with that plunger so let me take a minute to figure out what comes with the new plunger kit. Figure out. So, got a little piece of plastic here. We don't get none of the springs. We do get a clip. So, it appears. This piece of plastic thing here is the same thing as that metal piece over there. I do not understand why you would want to swap a metal piece for a plastic piece though. It doesn't make very much sense. Because the one we have here is metal. And there's the clip, and this is plastic, and there's the clip. So I do not believe we're going to be using that. I'm going to put that back down in there. This piece here will just go down in here like this, and then it'll sit on top of that. Like that. And this simply goes back down in there. I needed something, I need something round to, to sit on top of that, push it back down in there. Probably need to put a little oil on that uh, O-ring as well. So. Got a little 
lithium grease there because that's what I came up with first. And then this should be able to go back down in there. Just like that. All right, and we repeat that three more times. Just come back up out of there because of the, uh, because I looped it up now. That'll be fine, it'll be okay. As long as it don't pop up out of there and lose everything. It'll be okay. So, let's see which one of the other ones wants to come up now. That one does. So, let's see. Probably going to go ahead and pull all these plungers out just to make sure that there's nothing. Uh, you know, down in there it shouldn't be. Hopefully, I don't lose them in the process. A little bit of gunk there. Yeah, I don't know why they would send a plastic piece for uh for that instead of a metal, but anyways. Okay, so this goes back on here like so. We're gonna hold all this down. But the, uh, the swivel has to go in there all at the same time. And you gotta put the right number of shims on there. I think they're down on there. Let's see how many shims this thing needs to be right. I'm going to start out with all of them. I think we're going to have to remove a couple of them because we've got more play, which I don't know how much play it's supposed to have. I'll snug it up a little bit, and uh, maybe that's what that hole's for, so stick something in and snug it up, I don't know. So that's tight. It went on down in there, but I still think that's a little too much slack. So we need to remove a couple of shims, I believe. 
That's far better than it was, though. I'll give it that. And then we'll worry about this linkage here that's probably never going to hook up. <laughs> that's just probably what it's going to be. So this, I don't know if there's any way that that would go in that hole. No, because that's going to pull that backwards whenever you push it down. It is some adjustment there, but I don't know if it's that much adjustment. And I could probably tack well that to that and make it and make it work. But we need to pull out a couple of these shims. starters to get this thing to work correctly here. I don't know which one we need to take out. We'll just take out a couple of them right there and see what happens, I guess. make this thing come around too far so that hole is not going to be any kind of useful for me for that pin which I don't think it goes there anyways Get new. let's see what that feels like Still seems like a good bit of clearance side to side, but some of that's right here too. It would go a little bit more. Try just this big one over here, this big thick one, and see. See what it does with that. It's almost no play whatsoever. I mean, it's not pushing down on anything, I don't think. But it ain't no play. Very, very little. If that's too little or not enough or what. Let's see what we got here. Arr. Feels okay, not uh, not any slop or anything. So I don't know if we can get this thing to curl around here enough times. 
I don't have to mess with that wire or getting this to come off. Be super sweet. I've been wondering this whole time why they had to cut that wire. Now I understand now a little more. Still don't like it, but. <clears throat> I don't know which way that's supposed to go either. If it goes like this, if it go run more around. I'm gonna guess it probably goes across the front to keep from hitting that, that uh, wire there. Probably goes just like that right there. So this here is not really going to work on this unless I weld the darn thing to it because it's a different setup than what came off of it. If you see this garbage that came off of it here, this all broke up and somebody has welded a washer or something on here before and tack welded it and you don't know what all they got going on there but it, it doesn't work too well so evidently this piece is for a model that does not have the locking mechanism here which is said not to work all that great but I do think if you were dozing a long distance say in a straight line or something and uh, that would be kind of handy to have on there. But I don't know. See, if I weld it on there, then when I bend it back, how's that going to work, you know? Let's see. There's not enough, uh, there's not enough pivot in the thing. Almost got to be welded at a, a little bit of an angle that way, it looks like. Because when I come back, the pivot of it is not going to work very well. All right guys, so I have found a nut right here that'll fit this. And I'm gonna weld that thing on there at an angle, kind of like that right there. And uh, it's gotta be at that angle so that when you pull it back, that this joint has enough, enough uh, movement to move up. If you see what I'm saying there. But uh, that's pretty much what I'm gonna do, is get it where I want it. And uh, put a little tack on it right there. And I think that will hold good enough that this lock will still be able to add some friction to the joystick there like it's supposed to. All right, guys, I believe we got her fixed up there. You see how the, uh, I welded it nut on there to angle there, just tacked it on there so that when I go in reverse, we get full movement of that joint right there. Works that way, side to side, left, right, all that good stuff. And uh, as I say, the purpose of that is you're supposed to be able to match this clock right here like that. And it holds the joystick wherever you put it. 
see if you want to go half speed forward like that and you can still move left or right as you see and then take the lock off and it's supposed to return so anyway hopefully that'll work like it's supposed to all i gotta do now is put the boot back on there and uh put this cover and everything back on there i went ahead and got those wires fixed up there as well so i guess i'll wrap this video up thanks for watching see you guys in the next one